We've had a constant day and a half now of rain, and I'm out in the camper doing a little leak inspection, and everything's good. I just figured I would make this video to show you all what it sounds like in the rain. It kinda sounds like you're inside one of those rain sticks or something. Okay, well, on the time lapse I showed me installing this fuse box. I went ahead and flipped it from where it was because I had all of the negatives going out the bottom and then routing up, which didn't make sense. So now all the negatives will come over this edge and route straight down to here from the top, which will save a little bit of wire and be a little more clean. But so far so good. The Jackery is running the fan and the house lights. Next up, once the fridge comes in, we'll see how that works. Right now, I'm gonna drill some holes in this face bore that goes onto the propane box there so that the water and the electricity can run through underneath it and underneath the propane box and come out over here. Let's do it. It is a nice chilly day here. In fact, it's so chilly and nice that last night Tara and I slept in the camper <laughs> in the driveway for the first time and it was pretty perfect. It's gonna be really fun having this thing on the road. It, it really got me excited to get out there and start adventuring. Yeah, we weren't 100% sure if it would hold both of us on the bed without being mounted on the truck, so we put this saw horse under it just in case it started to tilt, but it didn't even come close to that, so that's good. Look how stinking big this mic is. <laughs> uh, let's see what's in the storage here. Oh, wait a minute. Tara is working on plugging up these holes from where the propane used to be. I've got to drill some access holes for the electronics where the jackery is going to sit. So let's do that. Here's the bit I'm using. It's called a Forstner bit for drilling holes. Normally with a flat bottom, but I'm just going to use these to drill straight through. So this is where the jacker is going to live. It's got two inches of clearance on each side for when the fan needs to operate when the inverter is running. It has a little 12 volt plug here that just pulls out and then you plug that in to connect the power of the camper to the battery. I can show you how that works. And then over here, this is a little 12 volt plug that's going to be wired to the car. So when we're driving, we can plug the Jackery adapter into here and into the plug there and charge the Jackery in the camper while we're driving. Let's turn the power on. Ooh, I think it looks great, Bubs. Gosh, thanks. 
This cold weather has been awesome, but it's getting chilly now. from the car back on. This will bring in our wire for our, for our running lights and it'll power one of our little 12 volt outlets when we're driving to charge the Jackery. You ready for bed, bud? <laughs> this is gonna be some 12 volt outlets for charging our phones and other stuff that are gonna live up here and be wired through this cabinet into this space, down and out to the fuse box. Wow, what a good time to showcase how good this insulation job is. Yeah, who did that? <laughs> uh, let's just leave it unaccredited. Yesterday, Tara started polyurethaning the cabinet sides. You can see the difference. This is no coats, and then this is two coats. You can also see what it looks like on the countertop inside. Definitely brings out a little more yellow in that. And on the wood, it brings out the darker hues, which is nice. in the look of this maple with the poly coating on it. So this corner of the cabinetry is gonna be like kind of like our nightstand for the bed. I just installed dual 12 volt outlets here so we can charge up our devices. One of them is just a standard one. The other is a USB quick charge so we can charge up anything we need. And the cool thing is these little outlets can be swapped out. So over time, if we need to update them to USB-C or something more modern than that, we just have to unscrew it, pull these out and swap the new ones in. been trying to get a lot of work done, but all Tara wants to do is goof off. Look at this board shadow, it looks like a mountain. <laughs> Your shadow over there. Um, I'm telling. Do you think it's gonna work? <laughs> okay, now. All right, so I'm gonna do a rundown of our entire power system and try to make it as quick as possible. If you want more details, feel free to ask a question in the comments or go to the website and I'll have a schematic of this whole thing set up. So basically, everything in our camper, power-wise, is gonna be handled by the Jackery Explorer 1000. With the Jackery, we're gonna distribute its 12 volt power all through the camper to power appliances and we're gonna have several inputs for it. So let's go through the inputs first. First, we're gonna normally power it via two 100 watt Jackery Solar Saga panels. And they're gonna be connected in parallel with this adapter, and then they'll be run through this cord here into the Anderson power pole input. The plan is to park the camper in the shade and then set the solar out in the sun and run this wire to the side of the camper, plug it in, and we'll be able to charge the Jackery while we use it. Alternatively, if we're ever somewhere where we have access to 110 power or like shore power or an extension cord at a friend's house, we can use this little power adapter to charge the Jackery right off of the 110. And if we're ever in the car or in someone else's car, we have this 12 
old adapter here so we can charge the Jackery via a cigarette lighter. We're going to take the 12 volt power from the car, run it into this little cigarette lighter adapter, and that way when we're driving in the car we can plug the Jackery in, plug the cigarette lighter into the adapter there, and charge it while we're driving and not have to bring it up into the cab with us. So that sums up the inputs. We have the solar, we have the 110 if we need it, and we have the 12 volt when we're driving. The more critical part is the outputs. So for our 110 power from the Jackery, we're basically either going to plug straight into the Jackery or use a little power strip that's run to where we need it to plug into. The plan is to not have too many items that are going to run off a of 110, but I know one thing we're going to be using is an instant pot, so we'll definitely need that power. The DC power is where it gets more interesting. So that 12 volt 10 amps is going to be going into this cigarette lighter, which is wired into the DC fuse box. From the DC fuse box, we're distributing that power to all of the various devices that need it in the camper. So that's going to be the max air fan, the Dometic fridge, the house lights of the camper, the LED lights, and anything else in the future will probably have a diesel heater and that'll be powered by that as well. In addition to those things, we have a few things we're going to wire in. This is just a little 12 volt adapter thing that will give us an extra port and USB quick charge ports when we need them. And this is actually going to be what the Dometic fridge plugs into. So it's just a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, but it's going to go under the fridge. So when we need the fridge, we plug it in and it'll be in the camper cooling. But if we ever need to move the fridge and say, take it in the car or plug it in somewhere else, we can still unplug it, have that adapter because it won't be hardwired in and plug it into the car or somewhere else and that's it it's a super simple setup i'll leave links in the description and on my website of these very few parts we needed to make the distribution hopefully that helps anyone looking to do this i could not find much info about this online just so you know it works